Okay, so I'm here again. We are going to what? How to what? To differentiate what? The following function. That is what? Y equal to tan x. Y equal to what? Cot x. Y equal to what? Sin x. Okay. So in simple terms, if you have or something like this, before we come back to this one, let's go back to this one. If you have what? Function of what? F of x. And you want to differentiate this one. You're going to get something like f prime of what x. That's not all. You have to also differentiate the one in the brackets. That is x. If you do so, you're going to get what? If you differentiate the one in the bracket, that's x. You get what? One. Then you multiply it by what? This one. If you have what? Let's say function f of what? 2x. And you want to differentiate this thing. You're going to get f prime of what? 2x. And that's not all. You have to differentiate the one in the bracket. Then you multiply it by this whole question. So you're going to get what? Times what? 2. Which is what? This one. The same thing when you come to what? When you come to the sign, it's the same idea. If you differentiate the sign, okay, let me wipe this one away and start it. So here, if you want to differentiate sign x, if you differentiate sign x, you get cos x. But that's not all. You have to differentiate the one there, and then multiply by this. So you're going to get one times this, which is the same as what? Cos x. What if I have y equal to what? Sine 2x. That one is going to be cos 2x. And that's not all. I have to differentiate the one in the bracket. Then I multiply it by, by the question. So I'm going to get something like 2 times or something like this. 2 cos what? 2x. That is it. Uh -huh. That's the idea. So let's go back. Let's start from what? The term. So first one. Our y is equal to what term? By from the trigonometry, we know that uh, tan x is equal to what? sine x divided by what? cos x. So in place of what? tan, this whole here, we can put in what? sine x over what? cos x. That's what this one. So meaning that our y here is equal to what? sine x divided by what? cos x. But here, if you want to find the y dx, by the y dx, we know that this one is dividing this. We can't just go straight away divide. We can use what what is called what we call what quotient rule. So this quotient rule, our dy ds here is equal to something like v times what du d what x, and then u what times what dv d what x, all divided by what v what v squared. So here you can say that let your u be equal to what sine x, and v be equal to what cos x. Okay, so from here, what we are going to do next is what? We differentiate what? The UDX. So here we have to go and do what? The UDX. So our the UDX is the UDX from the question, you are going to get the UDX, which is equal to cos what? X. That is our the UDX. Then we come back to the VDX dividing the x, which is also equal to what? Minus sine x. Then from here, we have what? Our du dx, and we have dividing the x, and we have what? Our u and what? V. So we can substitute them into the equation. When we do so, our u is what? Divide the x. Our V is what? Our V is equal to what? The cos. So we have cos x. And our d, u d what the s is also what cos also times what cos x minus what is our u? Our u is sine, so we have sine x times what is our dv ds minus or sine x. Okay, all divided by what our v square, which is what cos what cos x all square. Something like this. So from this side, this one times this it will give us what? Cos squared. So we have what? Cos squared what? X. This one times this, that's the minus minus. We are going to get what? Sine squared what? X. By minus here, minus here. So you're going to get what? Plus sine squared what? X. All divided by what? Cos X all squared. Okay, but we know from trigonometry that 
we know from trigonometry that whenever you have what sine square whenever you have cos square x plus sine square x sine square x is equal to 1 okay so it means that this whole thing is equal to so our dy dx is equal to what? 1 over what? cos x all square okay by this for 1 over all cos x all square is also equal to what? 1 over what? cos x all square because 1 raised to the power any number is what? is 1 so from here from trick we also know that 1 over what? cos x is equal to a sec x so it means that in place of what 1 over cos x we can put in a sec x so we are going to get dy dx which is equal to what sec x all square and is the same as what sec square x that's the answer for what for tan so in other words you can write it as what divide the s then tan x which is equal to a sec square root x that is the final answer for what? tan x differentiation for tan x so that's the first derivative of what of tan x okay that's i i i was y equal to what cot cot x Okay, this one is simple. From trigonometry, we know that cot x is equal to what? Cos x over what? Sine x. That is it. So simple. So it means that in place of, in place of what? Of the cos. In place of this cos, I can substitute what? This whole thing. So I'm going to get y equal to what? Cos x divided by what? Sine what? x this one so here the same thing if i want to find what find for the first derivative of what of the cot x i'll say that i'll use the quotient true here too i'll use the quotient true i'll say that let u be equal to what cos what x and v be equal to what sine what x if you find the the u dx if you find the UDS, you're going to get what? Negative what? Sine what? X. And if you find what? Divine the what? X. You're going to get what? Cos what? Sorry. Yeah, you're going to get cos X. So this one, you just go straight away to the formula. The quotient true formula. Okay. So you have the formula to do what? The y dx equal to v d what d u d x minus what u d v d x all divided by what u square v square sorry so this one just substitute them into the equation what is your v your v is what sine x times what is your d u d x your d, d u d x is what minus sine x minus what is your u your u is what cos cos x then what is your times what is your divinity x what is what cos x so here all divided by what sine squared sine all square okay but this one time this is what here is minus this one time this is what minus sine minus sine square x minus cos square what x all divided by what sine x all square by this whole thing, you have 
minus minus a. So you can factor minus 1 out. So you get minus what? Sine square plus what? Cos square what? X. Sorry, uh -huh, like this. All divided by what? Sine x all square. But we know that our sine square what? X plus cos square what? X is equal to 1. So this whole thing here, the one in the bracket is 1. So we are going to get You get dy dx equal to negative what? 1 over what? Sine x all square. Okay. By this one, you can write as what? 1 bracket open 1 over what? Sine all square. The square is not affecting the minus. Okay. So you can get something like this. But what is the one in the bracket? This one. What is it? The one in the bracket is equal to what? Cosec. So one in the bracket, that's one of our sign, is equal to what? Cosec x. Okay, so it means that our dy dx is equal to what? Minus cosec square of x. Because here, in place of this whole thing, you're going to put in what? Cosec inside. So you're going to go like cosec square. So it means that here you get what? Minus cosec x square. And this whole thing is the same as what? This one. So you get what? So meaning that if you differentiate what? Cot cot x, if you differentiate cot x, you're going to get what? Something like this. So that's my final answer for differentiation for the cot. Okay. That's my final answer.